Rome is divided into several districts, with its center, the Colosseo district, containing the most ancient attractions like the Colosseum, Capitoline Hill, and the Roman Forum. On the outskirts of the center is Old Rome, featuring the Pantheon, stunning cathedrals, plazas, and Renaissance architecture. After all, one can find history and art on almost every street corner. Visitors may want to do their homework to narrow down what they want to see and do before they get on a plane or train bound for the Italian capital. In this video, we explore the best tourist attractions in Rome. We've collected a list of the top tourist attractions in Rome, so make sure to include them in your list if you're a visitor. At first in the list, number 1, Colosseum. The Colosseum is another of Rome's major tourist attractions. Its construction was started by Emperor Vespasian of the Flavian dynasty in 72 AD and was finished by his son Titus in 80 AD. The elliptical amphitheater could hold up to 50,000 people who turned out to watch gladiators do battle, people be publicly executed, and other forms of entertainment. This stone and concrete structure, built in the first century, was the largest arena in the Roman Empire. Number 2, St. Peter's Basilica, the center of the Catholic world and a major tourist attraction, the Basilica of St. Peter is a huge church. With an interior height of 120 meters, 400 feet, the space shuttle and its booster rockets could fit inside, as could the Statue of Liberty. The basilica stands on the traditional site where Peter, the apostle considered the first pope, was crucified and buried. Construction on the current building began in 1506 and was completed in 1615. Number 3, Pantheon, one of the best preserved Roman buildings, the Pantheon, was built in 126 AD as a temple for all the Roman gods. The temple has served as a Roman Catholic church since the 7th century. Eight graceful granite Corinthian columns extend across the front of this circular building, with fewer columns in the back. Though 2000 years old, the Pantheon's famous dome remains the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome. Number 4, Roman Forum, located in the small valley between the Palatine and Capitoline Hills, the Roman Forum, or Forum Romanum in Latin, was for centuries the teeming heart of ancient Rome. The site of triumphal processions and elections, the venue for public speeches, and the nucleus of commercial affairs. The Forum today is a sprawling ruin of architectural fragments. It includes the arches of Septimius Severus and Titus, the Temple of Antoninus Pius and Faustina, and the Temple of Saturn. Number 5, St. Peter's Square, located in Vatican City, St. Peter's Square is the most famous in Rome. Hundreds of thousands of people gather here to hear messages from the Pope. Created in the 17th century by Bernini, the square has an elliptic shape, surrounded on two sides by colonnades before St. Peter's Basilica. Statues sit atop the colonnades. At the center of the ellipse stands an Egyptian obelisk that was transported from Egypt to Rome during the reign of Emperor Augustus. Number 6, Basilica di Santa Maria Maggiore, founded in the 4th century. The Basilica di Santa Maria Maggiore, St. Mary Major, is considered one of Rome's most important Catholic churches. Its 18th century exterior conceals one of the best preserved Byzantine interiors in the city. Travelers in Rome on August 5th may want to attend the Miracle of the Snows celebration, when thousands of white petals are dropped from the ceiling. Number 7, Vatican Museums. The Vatican Museums began in the 16th century with a collection of sculptures by Pope Julius II. Today, they encompass several museums in Vatican City and include some of the world's most important relics. 
Attractions of the museums include the spiral staircase, the Raphael rooms, and the exquisitely decorated Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo painted the chapel ceiling between 1508 and 1512. Today, the ceiling, especially the Last Judgment, is believed to be Michelangelo's crowning achievement in painting. Number 8, Trevi Fountain completed in 1762 to a design by Nicola Salvi. This world-famous Baroque fountain features a mythological sculptural composition of Neptune, god of the sea, flanked by two tritons. The location of the Trevi fountain marks the terminus of the ancient Aqua Virgo aqueduct and is so named because of its position at the junction of three roads. The fountain was the setting for an iconic scene in Fellini's film Dolce Vita, starring Anita Ekberg and Marcello Mastriani. Number 9, Piazza del Popolo. The Piazza del Popolo is a large oval square in northern Rome that has existed since the Roman Empire. At one time, it was the start of the most important road north. Three churches border the square, but the eye-catcher is an obelisk from ancient Egypt. On the north side, the square is dominated by the Porta del Popolo, which leads to the Via Flaminia, a road connecting Rome with the Adriatic coast. At last in the list, number 10, Victor Emmanuel II Monument. Built in honor of Victor Emmanuel, the first king of a unified Italy, this bombastic monument may appear solid white marble but contains many rooms inside. It was designed by Giuseppe Sacconi in 1885 and completed in 1925. There are two permanent museums, one on Italian reunification and one on emigration from Italy, as well as other spaces that host rotating exhibitions. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite tourist attractions in Rome. Is there something we missed let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.